Having discussed Raga and Tala, we are ready to enter the world of Khayal. Khayal is a name for both the genre and the compositional form used in it. Khayal, the genre, is a particular aesthetic of the coming together of composition and improvisation. Khayal includes compositional forms, the most prominent of which are also called Khayal. There is Khayal, as I said, it is a type of composition, it is also the name of the genre. In this video, we will look at Khayal the composition as a compositional form. Composition in Khayal, all kinds of composition, they have the generic term bandish or cheese. Specifically, the various kinds of composition that are used in Khayal are Khayal itself, Tarana, Chaturanga and so on. But Khayal compositions form the most uh, prominent uh, bulk of the repertoire of Khayal, the genre. Khayal compositions are always set in a particular raga and tala with text in Braj, Avidhi, which are dialects of Hindi or even Punjabi. And they can be about many themes. Let us look at the text of a very well known, uh, very widely performed bandish in uh, Rag Yaman from the world of Khayal. And this is set in the Tal Teen Tal. The text is like this Sthai, which is the first part of the composition, goes like this Eri Ali Pia Bina Sakhi Kala Naparat Muthi Ghari Pala Chhina Dina. Then the antra or the second part of the composition goes like this Jabse Pia Parade Sigavanakino Ratiya Katatu Mure Tari Ginagina. So a khayal bandish is very short you know, compared to a Dhrupad composition or a Carnatic composition. It is typically only four lines long and four avartanas long, four time cycles. And it is divided into two parts, the sthai, which usually remains in the madhya saptak or the middle range and the antara, which typically soars into the higher ranges, the tar saptak. Lyrics are simple in terms of prosody. There is often the last syllables of the sthai and antara rhyme, as in this case, as in the case of the bandish that I just uh, uh, discussed. There, there may be an alliteration or what is called prasha. But really there are no prosodic rules or expectations regarding the poetry of the text of Khayal compositions. In the above Khayal, the Naika or the uh, heroine tells her friend that without my love, Pia Bina, I am restless and ever since he went away, my nights are spent counting the stars. So, very simple, unpretentious, it is not high poetry. But it packs a lot of music into it and can unlock more because the bandish in Khayal is the anchor around which the raga is explored through various strategies of improvisation. The crux of this is the mukhada of the bandish, which leads to the sum, which is the first matra of the pal. I will demonstrate. Please watch the demonstration. So, I will be demonstrating with an app. Um, before apps, we had electronic devices. Uh, which uh, would which were very useful for practice and even for demonstration. So these are apps that stand in for the actual tanpura or for the actual tabla. So these apps and uh, electronic devices would give us the tanpura sound or even the tabla takas. And the app that I'm going to be using today 
has the tanpura as you can hear it also has the tabla and many other things with the wide range of options um and uh, the reason i'm using this uh is because um it is easy it it will give you a visual aid so you can actually see the matras the number of the matra so because i want to demonstrate how the how khayals are set in tal this can be very useful because you can actually see the number of the matras as uh, and it goes in cycles um, now for you it will be a, a visual aid but i will still only be following the sound of the theka so i'm not going to be looking at the um, app the app is for your reference but i'll be hearing it uh, so here goes um i'll first uh, sing aria li pia bin Uh, with the app and I, i'll show you how it's set in tal now this is teen tal and i want to play din da da din din da da din din da da din din 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 now this starts on the ninth beat eri ali So this is the bare uh, sthai, the first part of the uh, composition. The antara, that is the second part, also starts from the ninth matra. Jab se piya par des ga ban ki no, jab se piya par des ga ban ki no, ratiya katat mori. tare gin gin ratiya katat mori tare gin gin ratiya katat mori tare gin gin eri ali piya bin sakhi eri ali piya bin now in this eri ali piya that is the what is called the mukhada the mukhada of the composition of the sthai what is the mukhada mukhada is the phrase of the song of the composition that leads into the sum the the first so there is a mukhada of the sthai there is a mukhada for the antara so the first line of the sthai uh, will have a phrase which will land on the sum will have a text in this case it's ari ali p the sum is on the on p r right uh, the word the syllable p falls on the first beat which is the sum so ari ali p ari ali p r now this is the mukhada ari ali p r that is a mukhada Nantra, it is jab se piya par des because the sum falls on des. Jab se piya par des. Now this mukhada is all important in a khayal presentation, um, and I, I will talk more about it later. But what I want to say is every khayal. Uh, expresses it brings out a certain facet of the raga every khayal is also a, a very unique setting in that particular ta so there are hundreds of bandishes hundreds of khayals in teen ta and dozens of 
khayals even hundreds of khayals in yemen itself in teen tal how are they different they are different because uh, how the composition is set in the tal also and i will now demonstrate uh, a couple more compositions in yemen in teen tal to show how the compositions are set differently the khayal as i said is in yemen it is in madhyalay or slightly faster durut uh, teen tal but the setting in tal is different so that's what makes for a variety of khayals which in turn offer different possibilities for the unfoldment of the raga so this was ini ali pia bin Uh, this is at 150 150 beats per minute it's not uh, something that uh, a musician a khayal singer is not concerned with that actually it's very subjective uh, today i'm singing at 150 beats per minute tomorrow i'm missing at 160 day after i'm missing at 140 so that is uh, not anything fixed but today this composition is sang in 150 beats per minute Now the next composition is generally rendered at a faster speed. I like to render it at a faster layer, and the bukra is also different. So I'll just increase the speed. This is at one seventy-five beats per minute. The words are "Main vari vari jaungi, ni tamu pasi," and the bukra. is on the 12th beat that thing mai mari mari jaungi mai mari mari jaungi mai mari mari jaungi pritham paase mai mari mari jaungi pritham paase kab case the antara starts on a different matra in the previous composition both sthai and antara started on the ninth matra in this case the sthai starts on the 12th matra whereas the antara will start on the ninth matra phula bani se je phula bani se सजाऊंगी वुला बन सीज सजाऊंगी वुला बन सीज सजाऊंगी वुला बन सीज सजाऊंगी वूंगी हर वारी जाऊ is a completely different setting in the same tal a completely different set of uh, words text is different the setting in tal is also different now another composition also in teen tal the words are sukha data sabani ke shankar this is uh, in praise of lord shiva the other two were shringara based romans this is a uh, devotional Now this starts on the 14th beat. The mukhara is only uh, four matras long. Sukhadata sabanake shankar. Sukhadata sabanake shankar. Sukhadata sabanake shankar. so this is how 
uh, every composition offers a different set of possibilities for the performer to improvise to uh, to present the raga so now as i said the mukhada is all important in a khayal presentation or for that matter even in instrumental music um see this is what the musicians constantly return to to establish structure in their presentation to create tension and resolution and uh, the important thing about mukhada is that as i said it has to land on the sum so if i were to go back to the uh, first composition that i sang eri ali pia bina so this is a little faster than what i sang earlier this is at 160 beats per minute eri ali pia bina sakhi eri ali pia bina so the mukhada is as i told you is eri ali pia is a mukhada and the sum falls on the syllable p p bin sakhi a ri a ri p a and as the composition is set the mukhada starts on the ninth beat but in presentation the mukhada is varied to varying degrees depending on the musician depending on the school also some schools prefer to not vary the mukhada much others vary it all the time you know as a musician i vary the mukhada all the time so please try to observe how i vary the mukhada each time it the variation can come from the matra where i pick up the mukhada it can come in the melodic uh, setting of the mukhada but what will not vary is that the sum will always the word p the letter p of pia will always fall on the sum on the first beat of the dal that will not vary but where i pick up the mukhada how i render it those things can vary ye di ali pia bin sakhi sakhi ali pia bin sakhi ali pia bin sakhi ali pia bin sakhi ali pia bin sakhi these variations trust me were created on the spur of the moment that's what we train for uh, that's what we practice and uh, uh, in presentation in uh, the heat of the concert or of a performance so many other variations can strike the musician you could listen to a performance of the same bandesh by sanjeev abhyankar at the link given below now in every raga there are hundreds of bandishes and a good musical training includes learning many bandishes in every raga which gives a handle over different facets of the raga different mukhadas to arrive at the sum different talas themes composers and so on now composers of khayal or dhrupad for that matter are called vagyakaras it is vak plus geya plus karas it is those who make both the vak and the geya vak means text in this context and geya means that which is sung so the vagyakara is one who composes both the song text and the music for the composition and often it is as a single spontaneous act or at least the kernel of the bandish usually emerges as a whole that is the lyrics and the music are an integral whole and it's it's generally believed and it is generally true also that they are composed uh, 
simultaneously. It's a spontaneous, a spontaneous act of uh, simultaneity. The oldest Vagyakara in Khayal are certainly Niyamat Khan Sadarang and his nephew Firoz Khan whose signature was Adarang. The uh, very first video, the very first lesson of this course started with a composition of Sadarang in Rag Bihag, if you remember. Mm. Now, perhaps it was a tribute to their patron, the Mughal Emperor Muhammad Shah Rangila, that these two composers incorporated the word Rang in their signatures. So, we have Sadarang and we have Adarang. But and ever since then, many Vagyakaras have adopted the Rang part of the signature. And so, we have many Khayal compositions with one or the other Rang signature, such as Prem Rang, Dilarang, Manarang, Sabarang, Hararang, etc. We also have a Vagyakara signing off with Pia, such as Pran Pia, Prem Pia, and so on, Daras Pia. We have hundreds of bandishes composed by these Vagyakaras that are in circulation, and we probably have many more that are unfortunately lost. Now, broadly, we have two kinds of khayal compositions the bada khayal or the big khayal, and the chota khayal or the small khayal. The former, that is, the bada khayal, is always vilambit, that is, it is sung at a very slow speed. If you remember, there is the three layas, right? vilambit, madhya, and drut. So, bada khayal is always a vilambit khayal, which is sung at a very slow speed. The chota khayal can be in Madhyalaya or Drutalaya. What follows is a demonstration of a few Chota Khayals to show the different ways in which the, uh, in which Bandeshas are created. So, I will first present two Bandeshas of uh, Sadara Nyamat Khan. Chota Khayal, dono, uh, both are uh, in Madhyalaya, Tintal. The first is Gore Mukhaso Mure Manibhave. Uh, it's a description of a beautiful woman. And uh, the composer says that a glimpse of her beautiful face brings him great joy. That's the uh, uh, message, the idea behind the composition. The text is like this. Now, in this, the sthai, the mukhra of the sthai starts on the 10th beat, 10th matra. So, suppose, uh, and, the, and the antra. So, I mean, you know, this and this thai and antra can, uh, the mukhras can start on different matras, not necessarily the same matra. Though usually it's the case that both thai and antra, they start off on the same matra, but sometimes they can be different as in this composition. So, in this the Thai Mukhada starts on the 10th beat, 10th matra, and the Antara Mukhada starts on the sum itself, or just after the sum. Now both the songs, both the compositions that I am going to sing are in name plus, just to show how uh, compositions are you know, subtly differently set in the same tal, both are in team tal. Okay. 
Bandish, also in Bhim Palace and Tintal. Uh, it is also around the theme of romance or Shrangara. The words are uh, Jajare 
अपने मंदिर वा बोन दीज कॉम्पोजिशन आर एज ए सेट कम्पोज नियरली थ्री हंड्रेड इयर्स ओल्ड एंड वी आर वाइडली परफॉर्म वेरी बिलवर्ड कॉम्पोजिशन इन ट्रैक भीम प्लस नाउ वाइल द फर्स्ट कॉम्पोजिशन गोरी मुखस वो स्टार्टेड ऑन द टेंथ मात्रा दिस स्टार्ट ऑन द सेवेंथ मात्रा एंड द टेक्स्ट इज सच द प्ले प्ले ऑफ वर्ड इज सच दैट it offers interesting variation in the mukhada itself the words are jajare apne mandarwa as i said and it starts on the seventh matra 1 2 3 start to fast up jajari itself is possible that's the beauty of this english jajari
noticed that um, typically when we finish a bandish, when we want to end the presentation, we present what is called a tihai. There is the same uh, phrase is repeated thrice so that it lands on the sum. In this case, um, it was Jai Jai Re Apne Man Jai Jai Re Apne Man Nirva Jai Jai Re Jai Jai Re Jai Jai Re Apne Man So, this is a very uh, commonly found presentational uh, technique that uh, you find in ma many parts of khayal and also uh, instrumental music or even dhrupad for that matter. So repeating uh, a phrase or, or a, a pattern thrice to find some kind of resolution that is called a tihai. Um, now I will present another composition again in Bhimpalas but this time in Drut Ek Tal. And it's a composition of Adarang. Uh, there is Feroz Khan, who was the nephew of Niamat Khan Sadarang. And this is a Drut Bandish. And this starts on the seventh beat. This is Drut Ektal. So it is Dhin 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 Dhadi Prakatuna. Yeah.